So now for the next part, now that you've got the recovery installed, you need to boot into the recovery. So what you need to do is you need to hold down the power button on the top, as well as the volume down button, and the home button all at the same time. So home, volume down, power. And keep holding them while the LG logo is on and it should boot you into recovery. So if, you've, so if you've gone through all these commands here and you've entered them in terminal and you've rebooted and you pull down that key combination when the phone's off and you don't boot into recovery like this then you've probably made some sort of a mistake. Now I'm not an expert in this, I've just taken the time to go through and research it and, and struggle to figure it out. Uh, I found it quite confusing, I found the uh, instructions on the forums usually are kind of lacking um, the guys at the XDA de uh, de uh, developers forum do a really great job in, in what they do, but their technical writing sometimes is a bit lacking. So um, you use the volume control on the side to move the menu up and down, and you press the uh, menu key down here in the bottom left to, to enter something. So now that you've got the recovery installed, you go to backup restore, press enter and I go to um, NAND plus external backup and press enter. Now you'll notice here at the top there's a little bit of an error message. It says RA Thunder E bad boot message. I don't know what this means. I've always seen this and it's occurred on my girlfriend's phone as well. Um, my phone works perfectly. Everything works. I just get this message. I don't know why. As I said, I'm not an expert at this. I'm just kind of following the instructions and, and you know figuring things out. So um, if you see this, don't get too alarmed. This worked for me. So then you just press enter again and you perform the backup. It kind of goes along and it usually gives me another error after this as well about uh, having to do something from the um, SDB shell. Um, other people say the same thing. So I don't know if it's just a bug in the recovery, but I've been using this phone for about a month now and haven't any problems. So. I don't think that's a huge issue at this point. So I'm just demonstrating doing a recovery here, but this is the last step that you need to do before you install custom ROMs and kernels, and this is the hardest thing. Um, as you imagine trying to enter all these commands uh, through the text input on the phone can be a huge pain in the ass. And this is very, very case sensitive and everything, so it has to be entered verbatim as it appears on the screen here um, in order for it to work. So that's the, the fourth step to install the custom recovery. And once you've done that, it's really, really simple. Basically, just you download a ROM. And now, like I was saying before, these have to be the zip files. So if you download the file from the forum, make sure it's the zip file you copy onto your, onto your phone. So you download the file, copy onto your phone, uh, boot into recovery, and then in recovery, you'll install them. So here I'm already in recovery. So I'm going to press the back button here to go back to the main menu. And it says here, flash zip. Um, flash zip, sorry, from SD card. So I press the menu button, and here I, I have just a this is a kernel I have on here. But when you have your ROMs on here, for instance, it would say uh, the one I have installed is called the Megatron ROM, which I found is very fast and very nice. It'll say uh, the Megatron zip file. So you just press uh, menu for enter, and that will allow you to. Um, go through and install the ROM and you just reboot the phone and it should be running. And in this case, for instance, I have this custom kernel from the forum, which I've linked to in my blog post, that allows me to overclock further. And with the custom kernel, it's the exact same thing. You just download the zip file, copy to the SD card, boot into recovery using that key combination, holding the home button, the volume down, and the power button. Then you go to um, the uh, flash from zip, and then pick it from the list, and then, and then that's it. It's as simple as that. So it's quite easy once you've got the recovery installed. It's just the recovery that I find is a pain in the ass. So that's basically uh, what I wanted to show you guys today. I'm going to go ahead here and just go down to power off and then reboot. So that's, uh, those are the tricky parts that I wanted to show here. And just to go through and give a quick recap. Um, you want to use this video in combination with my original blog post and you first want to download the Z for root which I've linked for. Uh, install it using an APK manager you download from the market. Um, using that you can do a one click root which is quite simple. 
Then you want to install the custom recovery, which is a little bit confusing. Remember, you have to get the flash underscore image file as well as the recovery file and put them both on your SD card. And in this case, the recovery file is the image file that's extracted from the zip, not the zip itself. And then you go through, you download the terminal emulator from the market. In the terminal emulator, you first type su, which will bring you to the root directory. Then you type in the commands listed from the forum post that I've linked to. Then you reboot into the recovery using the key combination I mentioned, holding the home key, the volume down, and the power button. And then from there, on this screen here, you can go through and you can do your backup. How you do the NAND backup, the external backup. You flash, um, and then you can go ahead and flash ROMs. And the great thing about this is you can flash any ROM you want. I'm, I've done the Megatron ROM, but pretty soon they'll have the uh, Android 2.3 Gingerbread ROM out. Uh, they're working on it now, it just doesn't have um, 3D drivers working, but you know, pretty soon that'll be out. And from this point on, it's quite simple. You just download the ROM zip file, copy the zip file over to your SD card, boot into recovery, click on the uh, flash from zip option, click on the file and, and install it, and there's no problem. And the same thing here from step six for the optional um, custom kernels. You just download the zip file, copy it over. <laughs> you okay? copy it over and then install it and then you're, you're ready to go. And I have also linked to an unlocking website where you can get unlocking codes and yeah you should be getting high benchmarks and smooth performance and uh, it should work out well. And as I mentioned I'm, I'm, I don't develop these myself, I'm not an expert so uh, if you're having problems please go ahead and post in my blog or on any of the forums and I would encourage you to go straight to the XDA developer forum and make a thread or search there um, for any specific problems because they really know their stuff and they're the ones who are doing most of this developing. I'm just trying to consolidate some of the information here to this video and this blog so that you can really um, get an idea of what's happening because I struggled with this a lot trying to figure out the individual steps, you know, little things like having to type SU into the terminal emulator before you enter the commands, um, the one command not working and all that sort of thing. It's something that I thought this might help for. So um, that's, that's it for now. I uh, hope this video helped and thank you for watching. And um, if you have any questions, please post them in my blog as well as on the XDA Developers Forum. And uh, thank you very much. Uh, thank you for watching.